share with you a letter from one of our ancestors. Dayton, Ohio, August 7th, 1865. To my old master, Colonel P.H. Anderson, Big Spring, Tennessee. Sir, I got a letter and was glad to find that you had not forgotten old Jordan and that you wanted me to come back and live with you again, promising to do better for me than anyone else can. <laughs> I've often felt uneasy about you. I thought the Yankees would have hung you long before this. For harboring Reb, they found at your house. I suppose they never heard about you going to Colonel Martin's to kill the Union soldier that was left by his company in that stable. Hmm. Although you shot at me twice before I left you, I did not want to hear of your being hurt, and I'm glad you're still living. It would do me good to go back to the dear old home again and see Miss Mary and Miss Martha, Alan, Esther, Green, and Lee. <laughs> Give my love to them all and tell them I hope we'll meet in a better world if not this. I would have gone back to see y'all when I was working in the Nashville hospital, but one of the neighbors told me that Henry Henry intended on shooting me if he got a chance. I want to know particularly what the good chance is you propose to give me. I'm doing tolerably well here. I get $25 a month, the victuals and the clothing. I have a comfortable home for Mandy and they call her Mrs. Anderson. <laughs> and the children, Millie, Jane, and Grundy, they go to school and learn well. The teacher says Grundy has a head for a preacher. <laughs> they go to Sunday school, and Mandy and me, we attend church regularly. We're treated kindly. Sometimes we overhear others saying, oh, them colored people were slaves down in Tennessee. Children feel hurt when they hear such remarks. But I tell them it was no disgrace in Tennessee to belong to Colonel Anderson. Many darkies would have been proud, as I used to be, to call you master. Now, if you will write and say what wages you will give me, I'll be better able to decide whether it would be to my advantage to move back again. As to my freedom, which you say I can have, oh, there's nothing to be gained on that score, as I, I got my free papers in 1864 from the Provost Marshal General in Nashville, Tennessee. Mandy says she'll be afraid to go back without some proof that you were disposed to treat us justly and kindly. And we've concluded to test your uh, sincerity by asking you to send us our wages for the time we served you. Now, this will make us forget and forgive old scores and rely on your justice and friendship in the future. Now, I served you faithfully for 32 years and Mandy for 20 years. Now, at $25 a month for me and $2 a week for Mandy, that would amount to $11,680. Now, add to the interest for the time our wages have been kept back. 
and deduct what you paid for our clothing and three doctor's visits for me, pulling a tooth for Mandy and the balance will show what we are in justice entitled to. Well, please send the money by Adams Express and care of V. Winters Esquire, Dayton, Ohio. If you fail to pay us for the faithful labors in the past, we can have little faith in your promise in the future. We trust the good maker has opened your eyes to the wrong which you and your fathers have done to me and my fathers for making us toil for generations without recompense. Here I draw my wages every Saturday night. But in Tennessee, there was never any payday for the Negroes any more than for the horses and the cows. Surely, there will be a day of reckoning for those who defraud the laborers for his hire. Now, in answering this letter, please state if there will be any safety for my Millie and Jane who are now grown up and two good looking girls. Hmm. You know how it was with poor Matilda and Catherine. I would rather stay here and starve and die if it come to that than to have my girls brought to shame by the violence and wickedness of their young masters. You will also please state if there's been any schools open for the colored children in your neighborhood. The great desire in my life now is to give my children an education and have them form virtuous habits. <laughs> Say how they to George Carter and Thank him for taking that pistol from you when you were shooting at me. From your old servant, Jordan Anderson. <laughs>